the whole thing. Let's see here. Did that work? Marker. Okay. Thanks for watching another stream. Thanks for watching another video. Today, we're going to get into another EDD hack. So estimated delivery date hack, how to bump up your order. And it seems like someone has sent me this through the Instagram. It seems like it worked for them. So take it with a grain of salt, but it seems to be, it seems to make a lot of sense and is pretty valid. So I'm going to talk about it and I want to know your thoughts. Did you actually try this? Have you tried this? Uh, have you thought about it? And it, maybe if you're quick enough, it might actually work enough as well for you. So if you're just joining in, my name is Dennis, I love talking about Tesla hacking as I like to call it, but basically just getting the best deal on your Tesla at the best possible price or just getting really good financing on your Tesla. So if you're interested in any of that, please hit that subscribe. And today's video is actually sponsored by my Patreon link down below in the description where you can receive some benefits, but more on that later. All right, so let's take a look at this. Shout out to Look for sending me this. Uh, he was actually the floor mat giveaway winner from yes or from last or yes. We announced it yesterday on stream. Uh, we did the random thing uh, with the Instagram comment, but basically he actually sent me this. Uh, and so here's the hack. Here's the hack. What he did was, or what they did, I think it was he, yeah. What he did was he stalked waiting for Tesla sites and all these different sites just like this. But what he did was he looked to see and find when a Model Y, because his vehicle is a Model Y, once a Model Y became available in his air or area, and let's say his order was something else. What he did was he quickly went into to his mobile app. He went into the app for tesla.com. He clicked manage. Then it brought him to the online portal. Then he clicked edit design. And then he changed his order to a vehicle that was in stock within his location. So if you're in Leslie, Iowa, or Pleasanton Grove, Utah, or Aurora, Colorado, you can potentially change your order to match the configuration of this one that's showing on the screen. And if you're quick enough, and the of course, if the vehicle doesn't disappear in time, then potentially Tesla system, this algorithmic system would be able to match you up quickly and lock you down with this specific VIN out there. Of course, it doesn't seem like this is much risk, right? Because you can quickly change it within the app. And as long as the base price book is still the same, then you have really nothing to lose. But if you do have a lower price, just be mindful of that. And so you don't want to pay the higher price. But at the same time, like what if the higher price is $2,000 more, but you insure delivery by the end of this month, insuring a $7,500 federal tax rate because we don't know when that's going to change. That, you know, that might be worth it depending on, you know, the price increases and all that stuff. But he was able to do that. It matched him. I matched him to the inventory. And on top of that, it's he said, this let me keep my base price from when they ordered. And so after he linked, Tesla linked it to the account, the car was assigned to his, the, the VIN was assigned to his account within two minutes. So take that strategy for whatever it's worth. See if you can try it, see if that works for you. And let me know if that's gonna work for you. Uh, and it seems to make sense, right? Because if the inventory car is out there and it's not assigned to anybody else, there's a good chance if you switch it to exactly how the, it is on the screen to a one matching into your area, it might actually work out for you. So, okay, that might be something you want to try. Like, you know, well, actually you already have a VIN, you already have a VIN. So, uh, so maybe not, not, no, well, no, you don't have a VIN yet. You have a VIN in the next two weeks. So it might be worth it. Cause like maybe if this build is not exactly what you want, but you can get it a lot quicker then you know, it certainly would be a lot more value instead of losing out uh, because we have no idea on this federal tax credit. We have no idea like when this is going to change. All it says is may change during March. So it it could be March 1st. It could be pushed out for months. Uh, we really have no idea. Maybe we'll hear more at Investor Day, Tesla Investor Day on the March 1st as well, or, or maybe we won't. So definitely some pretty interesting stuff. Let me know what your thoughts on it. Have you tried it? Did it actually work for you? But here's another EDD hack that we can put out there. And maybe, maybe if that starts to happen, we'll see all these Tesla Model Ys just disappear quickly. We've got 27 on the website right now and still 27. And the weird thing is these are all long ranges, which I, I feel like there's a lot of people with long range orders out there, or maybe not, but uh, definitely some pretty interesting stuff. Let me know your thoughts on it. Let me know if it worked for you. But before we get back into the chats, into the live comments, because that's the benefit of the stream, this video is actually sponsored by my Patreon link. Down below in the description, there's a Patreon link where you can support the channel. And there's a variety of benefits, but some of them include actually scheduling a call with me. We can 
ask me any questions about buying a Tesla, selling a Tesla, or even financing a Tesla. And after you schedule the call, you get a, or after you join the Patreon, you get a link to my buying guide, which has links to all the resources I use to get the best possible deal at the best possible price, including credit units and financing banks on that list that have interest rates as low as two, no, 3.2% to 4% from 60 to 80 months. So definitely check out if you're interested. Link down below in the description.